I love fighting games. If that wasn't yet apparent from the videos I was making before I started doing Monster Hunter content. I've not been in this community for long though, so I've missed out on a lot of things and still have many games I need to try out. And since Guilty Gear Strive, which is my main game at this time, uh, was getting a bit stale, I decided to do just that. So when I was trying out different titles, I came across this little game called... And holy crap guys, this has to be the coolest fighting game I've ever played for multiple reasons. The first thing I notice is just how crazy the roster of characters is. We have a predator robot that can turn invisible, make cool noises like... And... And when he wins the game, he shoots a beam that goes like... There's a giant Native American man with two axes that summons lightning and beats your ass. The main character Jago is this badass ninja monk. Not to mention his evil Shadow Jago version that can teleport and zip around on screen. There's an undead skeleton pirate that gets summoned from hell. The spooky ghost chick from The Grudge as a fighting game character. And an actual fucking raptor. The list just goes on and on. I love this cast so much. It's the perfect blend of not taking itself too seriously and really cool designs and concepts. This game has amazing guest characters as well. We have Rash from the Battletoads in a realistic 3D model that actually looks great. I don't know how the hell they pulled it off but he looks amazing. Arbiters in the game and General Ram so I guess the old school Gears vs Halo feud can be settled in KI as well. Now you can't talk about Killer Instinct and not mention the soundtrack. That's fucking illegal and you should be put into jail if you pull that shit. Let me tell you guys, this fucking soundtrack is so good. It makes me feel levels of hype I've never experienced before in my entire life. The soundtrack for each character adds so much personality to them as well. Listening to Jago's theme for example turns him from this pretty generic ninja dude into a freaking badass. Fulgore's theme you can just put over any Doom Eternal gameplay and nobody would notice the difference. And Spinal Steam comes up and it goes like... Or TJ's song which is just pure hype. This whole soundtrack was composed by Mick Gordon, Cell Dweller and other great composers, so no wonder it's such a masterpiece. Now I've rambled on and off about the characters and music, but I've not said a single thing about the gameplay yet. And don't you worry, it's just as good. It's one of the best examples I can give of easy to pick up and hard to master. It's such a beautiful system that everyone can get into with just a small bit of practice. The basic gist of it is you start your combo with an opener move, go into an auto double, then a linker, repeat until the bar fills up and finish your combo with an ender. This is the basic combo structure of the game that everyone gets to enjoy but it goes so much more deeper than that. Especially on the defensive side and this is where I segue to the most beautiful mechanic ever created. the One of my biggest gripes with fighting games is getting hit in neutral to then be subjected to a 15 second combo cutscene that you can't escape unless your opponent fucks up. It's not intuitive, it's not fun, and it literally makes my soul leave my body every time this happens to me. The combo breaker completely removes this. When you're getting comboed by your opponent, you get the chance to escape by doing a light, medium or heavy combo breaker, which needs to be the same as the attack that your opponent is performing. This creates so much tension during a match, especially at lower HP. You have to be constantly wired during the match and stay concentrated, even when you're getting hit. 
Fucking up your combo breaker will leave you in a lockout state, where your opponent gets a free 3 second ticket to fuck you with the hardest hitting attacks in his arsenal. If you're getting too repetitive with your timing and your opponent starts noticing this, he can hit you with the fat which is basically a big risk the offensive player is taking by calling out a combo breaker and stopping their own combo. You do not want to get hit by a counter breaker as it puts you in the biggest lockout state the game has of 4 seconds. You're guaranteed to eat shit when you get hit by a counter breaker. The amount of mental games that go into even one round of Killer Instinct is insane. Even at lower levels of play, it's fucking insane and amazing. Now, one thing that might put people off from trying Killer Instinct is the age. Uh, the game is almost a decade old, but don't let this be a factor to not try it. For a game that's almost a decade old, it did everything perfect. It even has fucking rollback netcode in 2013. You know how insane that is? The online feels amazingly smooth, and even though it's a relatively old game, compared to other fighting games that are being played a lot right now, there is still a decent player base too. There's still loads of new players that are trying KI because there's loads of options to try this game for free, like Game Pass and the free character rotation. So basically what I'm saying is guys, there's no fucking excuse. Download this shit right now. Or else. <sighs> Now the last thing I want to talk about before I go is the ease of accessibility in this game. Uh, even if you've never played a fighting game before, the tutorial in Killer Instinct does a great job explaining the basics of fighting games and the game mechanics that the game itself has to offer. If you'd like to get more into detail, then there's an amazing guide available made by Infill called the Complete Killer Instinct Guide that goes into detail about literally every game mechanic that the game has to offer. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. As a little closing thing, I want to add this full match I had with a random guy online when I was just getting started and getting the hang of this game, because this was the match that really hooked me in. I think those moments in fighting games are very important, so I'm really glad I got to record it. It's a Jago vs Shadow Jago match, which is already really hype in my opinion, on my favorite stage, and both of us were super low HP at the end. I can point out a million things I did wrong looking back, uh, but I still think this match was kind of the stars have aligned moment for me. Yeah.